This is an in-service training program presented by Nutrition Care Systems. Today's topic, heating, holding, and cooling foods correctly. Upon completing this in-service, you will be able to number one, state the temperature danger zone. Number two, state the safe internal temperature for cooking chicken and ground beef. And number three, state the proper temperature for cold food storage and hot food handling. Food that's kept in the temperature danger zone for too long can allow bacteria to grow, which could cause foodborne illness. Foodborne illnesses can be mild, severe, or cause death. Symptoms vary, but are typically nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And remember, the temperature danger zone is between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And also, room temperature is considered the danger zone. Be aware of the danger zone, which we talked about is 41 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything that's not refrigerated or frozen properly can land in that danger zone. Hot foods must be kept above 135 degrees during service to stay out of the zone. Foods that sit on the serving line that are not properly heated or cooled can fall into that zone also. And foods that sit on the delivery cart can cool down and fall into the danger zone very quickly. So be aware of your temperatures and make sure that you're not allowing things to stay in the danger zone for long periods of time. What's the best way to keep foods out of the danger zone? Refrigerator free supplies as soon as possible after arriving in the facility. During food preparation, keep small amounts of foods at room temperature as needed and refrigerate the remainder. Work quickly during meal preparation so foods are not in the danger zone for long periods of time. And don't leave cold foods like meats, produce, or dairy foods sitting on the counter while you take your break. Proper temperatures for food storage are refrigerator should be at 41 degrees or less, freezer at 0 degrees or less, and dry storage should be 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. How do we cook foods to the proper temperature? There's different cooking temperatures for different foods, and of course the recipes would include what the temperature needs to be as far as the food product, but a chart should also be posted in the kitchen with the cooking temperatures for all the foods. Staff should know that poultry is cooked to 165, ground beef 155, casseroles and leftovers 165, pork 155, and eggs 155. So holding hot foods, food should be served as quickly as possible after cooking. Make sure you limit the holding time by preparing the food in small batches if possible. Check the internal temperature during holding. Hot food should be at least 135 degrees during the holding process. And holding foods at a higher temperature is safe, but just remember it could affect the food quality if the temperature is too high. Cooling foods is very important. We want to make sure foods are cooled to 41 degrees or less. Food codes vary, but food should be cooled to 41 degrees quickly within four hours or use the two-stage cooling process. Make sure you place foods in shallow, preferably two-inch pans for faster cooling. Also make sure to stir frequently during the cooking process. Place foods in a blast chiller to speed up the cooling process if you have that available. Surround the foods with ice or an ice bath to help speed cooling, but do not use any food that has not been cooled properly or if you're unsure of its safety. Remember, when in doubt, throw it out. Let's take a short quiz on what you learned regarding heating, holding, and cooling foods correctly. Question number one, chicken should be cooked to an internal temperature of A, 150, B, 160, C, 165, or D, 170. And the answer to question number one, chicken should be cooked to an internal temperature of, and the answer is C, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Number two, the temperature danger zone is A, 41 to 135, B, 41 to 140, C, 45 to 95, or D, 45 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The answer to question number two, the temperature danger zone, is A, 41 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Question number three, foodborne illness can be the result of A, food not being stored at the right temperature, B, food not cooked to the right temperature, C, food that stays in the danger zone for too long, or D, all of the above. And the answer to question number three, foodborne illness can be the result of, and the answer is D, all of the above. Question number four is true or false. Hot food should be held at 165 degrees. And the answer is false. Hot food should be held at 135 degrees. Five, true or false? Freezer temperature should be below 10 degrees. And the answer to question number five is false. Freezer temperature should be below zero degrees. Thank you for your participation in today's program. Our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information about our in-service training programs or our dietitian consulting services, please contact us at Nutrition Care Systems 1275 Davis Road, Suite 121, Elgin, Illinois, or visit us on the web at nutritioncaresystems.com.